and we are recording. I mean, we appear to be recording. Um, I gotta ask you, are you doing the intro this time? I guess, I guess it's my turn. <clears throat> Welcome back to Improvision Entertainment. My name is Daniel. And my name is Hunter Munn. And today we are continuing our playthrough, our co-op playthrough of uh, XCOM Commander Squad. And by co-op, it's more like co-pilot, but they know what yeah, yeah. They've been co watching. This is like the fourth episode. Co-commander, I defer. Co-command, that's solid. That's solid, yeah. All right, uh, switching scenes, switch game. And I left off at a uh, save name Yahart. Yep, that's apparently, me. apparently. You know what? I can really stand it. Are you wondering why I am not currently streaming? It is because I am in the upstate, and my parents have. Terrible internet connections. Didn't you so, say you were working on that sort of? You were doing something. To I am supposed alleviate? to be working on that, but I suspect the work will not actually be done until this coming week and not the weekend. Do you think we Understood. should swap call signs to confuse mm -hmm. everyone? <laughs> I'm in. No, because I work so often with computer terminals, and you, you patch people up. Do you not like your call sign? Everyone makes assumptions about why I chose it. Well, everyone's an idiot. You slap software together like I close wounds. It's a thrill to watch you work. Thanks, Terminal. And I do like your call sign. Reminds me of how you are on the battlefield. Are you saying I move at terminal velocity? Your moth does. Ooh. <laughs> Patches. Don't change a thing about you. You know what? That's I mean, what they need. Does. Yeah, she does talk on fast, but that's what they did, need in XCOM Three. They need this did, level of like characterization and like oh, personality. Oh, entirely. Personality. Like, this is sure. exactly what's missing from from SSX on tour was the character interactions of SSX right. Three. Like that, they were so good. But I gotta ask you, Daniel, did you get the audio clip? I'm trying to remember because you know, basically doing two concurrent playthroughs and also watching a YouTube channel that's playing through the game at the same time. Though luckily, I am ahead of Commander Odd. Um, but still, did you get the audio thing in your in our playing together here of whispers and terminal about the food left in the fridge? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, all right, maybe that was my game. We'll see. Yeah, um, terminal is uh, what I would describe as not a good roommate. Hilarious. Uh, I think we agreed on doing this one because I was sort of lacking in delirium relative to my other resources. Yeah, but don't forget to read the thing. What do we got here? Uh, device used to s in a string of recent burglaries. We should seize it before it slips. Okay, so we got to probably go in and get a device and maybe get out before we get into yeah. trouble. Yeah, it's a snatch and grab type situation. Yeah, yeah. But the thing is, it's better to know that before going in, especially if you want to, like, plan, which I know sometimes you don't like to plan, but um, before uh, you plan... I don't like planning. I, I, your impatience is often antithetical to planning. You plan in the moment, so like the action that you're taking, which is good that you're playing a tactical turn-based game, but at the same time... Mm -hmm. um, Should we put down another field team somewhere before we hop in this mission? Possibly, because I like to keep around 120 intel on the off chance that the scavengers show up and they got something really cool, but we definitely could. Um, well, actually, wait, uh, is there a field team where we're going? Yeah. Yeah, there is. Okay. I could upgrade it. Can you? Yeah, I have the intel for it, but then I would be broke. What are we going here for? The Illyrium? No, we're doing yeah, it. Won't really, it won't really... Unless, you're, unless we're getting intel bonus on this mission. Wait, no, hold on. That has a lock symbol. No, your your tier twos are locked. You have to do a research. Oh, yeah, I think it's... um. Not here. Well, actually, is there a field team where one of Not the story here. missions is going to be? That would be the next logical, because you know you're going to have a mission there eventually. The purple ones? Uh, there isn't one here. There isn't one there. And I could do with maybe getting rid of uh, District Unrest here. Because this is getting a little high. It's 3 out of 5 right now. It's yeah, I don't actually know tomorrow. what the proper balance should end up being as far as how many field teams of doing what. Um, well, probably three of everything. Because, you know, I haven't finished one entire playthrough yet, but I will say that once I got to about second way, or about halfway through my second encounter, I started to realize that I was having way more money and a little bit more Illyrium than I needed, and I was falling behind on Intel, and I 
looked around the field teams, and it was because I didn't have um, security. It was because I didn't have security. So I don't know if there is a balance that you have to like think through. And of course, the balance will be different on every dif difficulty level. So I mean, well, the, field teams being what they are. Yeah, I was say the real question is: Can you respect these at a later time? Do you know that if you can? Uh, what you can, but it will cost you the intel to basically buy them like they're fresh. So, so you can't respect them; you can replace them. Got it. Oh, hey, um, can you glance real quick? I just I get paranoid about OBS. Like er, our audio is coming in fine and what have you. Audio is coming in great, but we've dropped a bunch of frames. Yeah, you you do that. Like I said, I think you've got like a thing that's running on your computer that craps out every couple of minutes because whenever i see you on stream it's either running kind of choppy or it's running silky smooth like there is no in between yeah it's weird well in any event so totally up to you you are the commander what do you think that you need or will need in the future the unrest is i mean you're not really having a city in anarchy so maybe the unrest isn't as a huge problem for you but you're not actually done with your first group yet. Oh, because you remember how I told you that you get additional unrest in a location if you if civilians die when you're on missions? Yeah. Uh, apparently, I was thinking that subliminally, but that actually ends up happening once you go for your second group. It starts giving you worse multipliers and stuff. Oh, jeez. I yeah. think I'm going to go for... Uh... In this intel one. Okay. Oh, by the way, hi Twitch. How you doing? What's up? Right, I should probably open up Twitch on my phone. Oh, well, if you don't have Twitch open, then hello to our viewer. Oh, hello. Oh. Captain Soja says he can hear us fine. Well, that's hey, cool. Hey, good. I need to pop out of that chat room so it's a little bit more visible where I'm looking. And all right, great. Um, do I have anything I can give Axiom? Flash bomb, maybe? Frag grenade? Why don't hold up? Do I only have one frag grenade for like everybody? Right now, yeah, you don't even start with it. I think we ah. just recently did a mission in which frag grenade was one of the rewards. Can I buy another one? No, huh. All right. Projected encounters one, easy difficulty, door and skylight are our options. So we don't even right. need cool breaching things. Though we can eventually get you things like smoke grenades, so then it like... Yeah, smoke grenade was there. I think it was an option. It's only like 35 credits. Okay, well what that will do is you, it, as part of the breach, it'll drop at your feet and it will lower everybody's aim on you when you start, which is best for encounters that have a lot of aggressive targets and you don't have Phalanx, uh, for Cherub. <sighs> yeah. True. Depending on how short this mission is, uh, I might have time for another one after. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, for anybody who's watching on Twitch, uh, we're going to be starting to put up mine and Daniel's co-op playthrough streams uh, archives on Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern. 1 p.m. Eastern U.S. Well, I mean, Eastern Standard Time. Is there another Eastern, Eastern somewhere else? There might be. I don't know. Probably is. All right. Successful shots at enemies during this breach will stun. Units turn jumps forward directly to follow the previous agent's turn. That's interesting. I don't know if I've seen that one. But wait, I think I've seen that once before. Um, all units entering here get 25 defense for the round. And there are no aggressive targets through that window. So I would probably end up putting terminal there. Yeah. And Skylight, all units through this entrance get plus one, uh, plus 50 dodge for one round. Um, successful shots on enemies will breach. All right, we've got we've got it ordered. Uh, Cherub Axiom Terminal Patchwork. Is that the order we want? Uh, yeah, I think so. I was thinking maybe switching Cherub and Patchwork, but I wasn't 100 percent sure on that idea. Hmm. Cherub and Patchwork. As far as like who's going first? Yeah. 
No, I think I think with the, their current setup, it probably makes Jared uh, sense to go first because he can cast his shield on somebody to prevent damage. All right, reaching in. We're going in. Oh wait, oh wait, we'll have the option first. Let's see how many aggressive dudes we have actually. We're all a bunch of aggressive dudes. Well, I would probably just pop phalanx because we only have it for one encounter anyway. Then all the aggressive targets that remain at the end of this turn will shoot him and he will get charges off of it. Or all the ones that can see him, I should say. Then we can just take our best shots. Though... Yeah, I would... I would shoot the next person on the list because... Axiom might be able to kill them. Like, we need somebody who can maybe take with a shotgun blast. Ooh, like shotgun to death, damn. Alright. This hitman's got extra armor, but with the people that we have, we might be able to take him down with both the shots from terminal and patch. He's dead. Oh, snap. Alright, Phalanx. Wait, what? Uh... Patchwork took some damage? Oh, well, there must have been an aggressive on her that didn't see Cherub. Yeah, she took one damage. God Weird. Damn it. Okay, acquire the Illyrian powered device. Um, so we've got dudes on three and five. Oh, you can just get it? Yeah, I'm right here. Alright, well, yeah, tuck into that cover, pick it up, and just see if we can leave. Because we don't even need to be guys, they can definitely be able to have another mission. <laughs> well, I'm thinking, if it gives, I'm thinking if it gives me another turn, I should, uh, shard, charge vest this dude. Well, hold on, let's see if it's... Oh, yeah, I got Exit, I gotta, no? Exit, yeah. Just want to leave. Alright, All right. um, so, shoot the guy on... No, charge vest. It's four. And it ignores armor. Oh, wait, it, it does ignore armor? Yeah. I forget these things sometimes. Even okay, though you're so... further ahead in your playthrough than me? Oh, dude, I am terrible about forgetting things. You should sleep in World of Peace. To... Yeah, considering you just asked me, hey, did we play Chimera Squad or 2 yesterday? I know, Mark. Yeah, one more time, you reverbed a little bit. I said, I know your memory's bad, considering yesterday, you, or earlier, you asked me, did we play 2 or Chimera Squad yesterday? And I was like, we played 2. Hey, what can I say, man? I need healthcare and I don't have it. Okay, that I was just trying to look up what that does, but alright. I'm just saying. Let's see here. All right. Three to six damage, so we might be able to take him. Um, I would put him probably against the cubicle, though. Kraken skulls. He's dead. He is. All right. Um, so gold move let's out. Let's see. We got. We got well, no, because we got reinforcements coming. So let's gold, see, where are they gold. coming from? Uh, that there. window so, and that window. Yeah, so maybe blue so, move to prep. Let's say, well, blue move to where you can get cover and also be able to get out on the next turn. So uh, I'd probably put them on the other side of the cubicle next to the chair. Wait, where did we go? You didn't. What, the mission description. Where are we? What are these nice, weird, like VR chairs, but no desks and computers? What building is this? I don't- I've never seen this before. No idea. Huh. But yeah, I, I would still- I would talk in next to that chair and- and... Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, and then Overwatch the window. Alright. I don't think we're gonna have anybody on the left side to Overwatch the other window, so we'll just hope everybody comes through here. Which is one of the things that's tricky about Overwatch, is because it shows you every place they can come through, but sometimes everybody just comes through one entrance. I prefer to have, like, one person covering each entrance. Um, I think if you blue move terminal, she might not be able to, uh, get out on the next turn, so I would stick her up the full cover next to the window. Here? Yeah. yeah and it looks like Cherub has a turn before the, uh, enemies. Uh, okay, then move him up to the window at the full cover, and then overwatch through the, the mm -hmm. into the next room. Right. <clears throat> We'll keep you safe. Go. That should be Looks good. Looks good. 
All right. Then reinforcement. And okay, good hit. Um, good hit. All right. Overall good. All right. I think Do I everybody the, should be able to yeah. get out. Yeah. Well, who's number three? Yeah, three is the only one we really have to worry with, really. Yeah. Do I just take this yeah. opportunity to leave? Just, just get out. Let's let's have a quick mission. I mean, you're not going to oh, take boy. the benefits of playing on easy. <laughs> let's let's go. I believe everyone should be able to make it. Let's see. Into the action. Okay, we got shots coming, but it shouldn't be too bad. All right, Yukon is next. Not what I was expecting. Damn. All right, if she takes another shot, she might technically be gravely wounded, but she's not. Heading there. Oh wait, hold on. Whose turn is next? Can she zap the one guy in the room? No, not from here. Wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, go Overwatch. And face backwards through the doorway. Yeah, yeah. Just cover the whole span between them and Cherub. No, no, no. Le left more. So you're getting all four squares. There you go. Because quality of life, every person, on every person's every action, everybody can head back to evac. So end turn. Top of the screen. Then we'll see if this guy runs out towards Cherub and then gets shot. Oh. Yep. Good. Now, on his turn, she can leave and he can leave. That is that is pro tip. I've learned that one. That is a pro tip. So that is a <laughs> like a like Visa says. That is what we call a pro gamer move. Uh. All right, and that's Thank game. You. In and out, we did it. Great. Uh, lightly wounded. Yeah. Well, we only have to worry about gravely wounded. Gravely wounded is when you have a chance to get a scar. Fair enough. Definitely happens when your trooper drops to like bleeding and you have to like stabilize them. But I think it also happens if they take like one and a half to two times their health points, even though you keep healing them. Oh, true. Oh. Um. Soja wondering why we didn't just take the last guy out. Well, we didn't. T hopefully, you saw. I'm not taking the last guy out. Um. In. All right. Uh, Who took it? Huh? Who took what? Oh, 12 pounds of food in the fridge. That's a very specific number. I waited after I caught it. What exactly did you catch? You ask as though you expect my answer to be cat. I don't know, and I don't want to know. Useless. But I have ruled out a suspect. Oh, weird. That makes a lot less sense on your playthrough. On my playthrough, I was like, well, obviously it was Torque. Who else is going to eat 12 pounds of food? <laughs> but, um, okay. So, yes, so what ends up happening in Chimera Squad uh, is basically every person who's standing on the evac, unlike in XCOM 2, um, even though you can leave people around in XCOM 2, they don't, like, get a turn um, after, until their next turn, until, like, the next turn. But in Chimera Squad, everybody standing on the evac basically gets a turn to leave every time it's one of your unit's turns. So... Moving Patchwork to the uh, exit and then having her overwatch uh, towards Cherub to cover him, she can do and still get a turn to leave when it's his turn next, which was the idea. So when the dude ran across, he got shot by the overwatch, got taken out, so Cherub both didn't take damage. Uh, she got a turn again to leave. On his turn, he left, and they both left. Done. Okay. All right. So we got... What I call Overwatch missions, the ones with the little uh, eyeballs, or do we have actual missions right now? Uh, that's all we got. 
Oh, yeah? Weirdly. Okay, so what do we want? More intel is what you're saying? Yeah, thinking? I'll take the intel, yeah. And is that with the security... No, that's the technology team, so we won't get bonus. Alright. All right, we, we have Max. The picnic? It's fine, but All right, should I use this I to reduce uh, unrest here? Salad? Chicken um, eggs are poison to sectoids. Why not yes. try a hot dog? Do you mean hot dog? Hot dogs are also poison. No, not dogs. Delicious, nutritious, and entirely digestible, no matter where you're from. Even me? Of course, my muton friend. Not dogs are for everyone. Whether you're from Earth or outer space, you can jam a not dog in your face. I'll have a not dog. Me too. Three for me. Not dogs are an approved source of fiber for all signatory species of the 2036 Accords. Exoterrestrials should consume no more than one packet of not dogs per week without express permission from accredited gene therapists. Do not store not dogs in direct sunlight. <laughs> not dogs that turn the human perceptible color blue should be discarded immediately. Uh, what? Food life. Food for <laughs> all of us. Yo, what is this? Alright, anyway. That so let's weird. check out the description of smoke grenade really quick. Uh, Third from the bottom. You're there. Boost the defensive volumes in the affected area. Reclamation agents use it. Okay. When you're, ex when you're exposed, drop smoke grenade, then this side to fight or flee. So... That should be. Oh wait, no. Oh, I'm sorry. That's no. That's just a general smoke grenade. That's not. I don't know if that's something you can do in breach. Also, uh, cease fire grenade is a good type of grenade. It is basically the Codex's blip. I make all your weapons oh, stop yeah. working as a grenade. Nice. I don't know if cease fire is the right name for it. I I call it like Codex Blip Grenade or some crap, but I mean that is what it is. It causes people not to fire. Yeah, I got the money for it. I should probably buy one. Um, well, that's up to you. What if we got researching right now, like better armor? No, no, no. Uh, armory, or no, what's it called? The blue one. Assembly. Armor. Yeah, we want to make sure we have the money to pay for that in three days. Oh, wait, we have nobody situated. Oh, well, we don't have an extra troop, do we? We don't. Oh, Patrick wasn't on that mission. Terminal was on that mission. I... Yeah, Patrick... they just had that conversation, and I messed up their names. Patchwork was on that mission, but when she got back, I put her in training because... Uh... Oh, I guess I was answering the chat room. Yeah, you were answering but... the chat while I was doing that, because she was on, the... and then she got injured, so I was like, maybe you give her a, a health increase. Okay, so, okay. So I Let's put Godmother here. back in the, the fray, so to speak. Alright, so... Need a ride or planning session? I would say... I I would lean need a ride because we're about to get two more ride. unrest there. And we already have two unrest. Should we put install a field team here before we go? Well, what are our words? You're getting intel? So if we were to put down a security team, we would get more intel as the mission rewards at the end. If you want to think of it like that. Seems like a good idea. Alright, now let's read the description really quick. We're from the Viper's Nest. A local smuggling ring requested our help evading an imminent attack. In exchange, we'll receive information on our opposition. So since we're getting so since we're getting a mod from this mission, it's possible that this will be a mission to get in, grab the mod, and then leave. Great. Though on at least one occasion I have had it so that the mod is actually on a person. And you and you take them out, and then you pick up their loot like it's XCOM 2 from like the space around them. Interesting. And that was really cool. So maybe that'll happen. Spoilers? I don't. I don't know. Anyway. Spoilers. People who haven't played XCOM 2 in the game that came out like more than three years ago. Hey, oh, hey. For my personal stream, I don't know about you, Daniel, but for me, um, when we're when I'm playing Chimera Squad, spoilers for XCOM specifically is off the table because I'm just going to assume. That you should have some XCOM spoilers for the this game. XCOM the franchise. Well, maybe not the franchise, but at least since it rebooted to 2012. The reboot franchise. All right, fair enough. Okay, so he said VIP. Quick snare. Thrust through this entrance will be rooted for a round. I would put that on Cherub. Quick 
question of whose turn do we want to come up. I would probably switch Godmother and uh, Terminal because she, because heals might be needed later, basically. Fair enough. Have her action further away. Oh, I believe we have another viewer. I could be wrong about that. And if so, hello, viewers. How you doing? You can chat with us in the chat room. No, it's Mr. Okay. I want to get statistics, Winsock. Reaching oh. in. Well. Target, but a 50% chance to shoot him. So I don't think we need Phalanx because we'll only be taking one shot. So these are bad shots, though. So I guess take your best shots. Okay. Let's see. You can just target and you can spread the love around. How much of a chance? 50%? Though? Jeez. You know what? If you're going to take 50 50, you know, take it on the aggressive. Why wouldn't I shoot? Oh, Never mind, that'd be kind of a waste. Because you have a shotgun and they have one hit point, so yeah. might as well pick that up with somebody else. Okay, we did 50-50. Um, she also has a shotgun, but you can... Okay, we can finish the aggressive target, maybe, and we could go Alpha Strike to make her turn come up earlier, because we have one encounter? Is one encounter on this one? I don't remember. So we got to pay attention, we got to pay attention. Try and take out the uh, aggressive target so that we won't even take damage, which I think is like a 47. A yeah, but they also only have oh, like, almost the same. They only have like one health though. You think it's worth it to waste a shot? You were the commander on this one, so you're gone. Do you think we should spread it around or try and take dudes out? The only person who is going to attack you this turn at all is the aggressive. Everybody else, because they are alert, are gonna go into cover. Nice. This is unconscious. All right. An aggressive means shoot you during. Damn. So, That That's the VIP. Okay. Escort to the evac zone. Well, enemies. All right, yeah. So units that are rooted are blocked from moving from their current position. So Cherub is luckily in cover, but also rooted. All right, dude with the crosshairs over their head is currently targeting our VIP. That's what that icon means. So wait, wait, wait. Uh, before you shoot, cast shield on somebody. Um. If you have nobody better, I usually put it on the healer first. I was going to put it on the VIP. Oh, can you? Well, then do that. Yeah, it's so, so weird that that one mission wouldn't let us do it. I've had it not let me do that at a time, so I always yeah, am surprised. Reducing profile. As much as I am enjoying myself. Okay, so you at least need to move them forward. Where are we going? Way, way, way up there. The well, at least the there's less cars to explode up on. Um, I would put them in next to the porta potty, probably, straight ahead up the street. Seriously? Um, there's only well, if... there's only one person in range of them who could shoot them, which is the trooper on two. And if he shoots them and hits them, then the kinetic shield will go off. Fair enough. I need one take damage. Well, then I need to guarantee that I get that kill with Axiom on uh, the Python. But he can just run up and smash. He'd be like, it's Axiom. clobbering time. Wait, that's the wrong franchise. That's pretty accurate. I mean, it pretty much is. Alright, so if this guy... Oh, wait, actually, no, he is not currently targeting the VIP. Yeah. And he missed. That, you. The game has not lied to me in that regard yet, though it will not warn you when dudes are actively killing civilians. So that kind of sucks. I would psych up one time and then go smash the Viper and stand in front of the car. Doing okay. I'll go there. Crash in the party. Come on, get to safety. 
In clobbering time, it was. Target weapon in play. Damn. Weapon disabled. Time and Overwatch. Um. Let's see. You should be able to get to the edge of the truck and shoot that guy. Here. Yeah. That won't set off Overwatch because it's not traipsed in the green, the red. So it puts you in full cover versus him and shoots him. Regular shot. Shatter shot. Shatter shot is for hitting more than one guy. And flush, he's not in cover. Like you have a flank on him. And you're close. You might. Yeah, you got a fifty-five percent chance to uh, crit. So yeah. Damn. That one armor saved him. I, I would blue move up to the car, and then see if you have still can see the guy on your shot. Probably. Might, might need to rotate camera. There you go. Set. Oh man, I'm out. Oh. That guy is now searching the VIP. However, Cherub is out of ammo, and okay, so the the guy, the VIP, the smuggler you're trying to get, has a shield on. So, yeah, so I would cast shield on Axiom and then move up. No reload. Why? You don't need bullets. There's one guy left on the map until wait. I see. Yeah, we got reinforcements coming. Yeah. Well, Cherub is the furthest back, so we still need to move Cherub up. I would still put a shield on Axiom. It's not letting me. Look, my only XCOM options oh, are... Oh, he must be completely blocked by the car. That's unfortunate. Oh. So, I move and shield? Put a shield on Sheriff and dash him? Uh, I wouldn't be able to... Oh, well, okay. Yeah. That's what you meant. I guess there? There? Yeah. Let's see. VIP's turn is next. Okay. There's only one person who can currently attack him, so moving him straight up to as far as he can go, I would say. He's got the shield on. Yeah, with cover to the back. Oh, well, uh, actually, yeah, he should be able to get out from there. So, yeah, go there. Turns out VIPs do not encourage civilians to move, so that snake is probably going to stay there. Yeah. This guy's going to take a shot on our dude. If he hits, it'll get taken by the shield. Also, he has no damage. damage, so it should be fine, hopefully. Well, I mean, it's... Yep, kinetic kind of shield. All right. Pop. That gives Terra a charge. There you go. Okay, so blue now the move is, do I risk psyching up again? Because I don't want to go berserk. A uh, psych takes actually no action, so I would do that. But what about whatever? What does going berserk mean, anyways? Uh, what berserk generally does is uh, Axiom is still he, basically to use a world of the apocalypse reference. Uh, he has more gnosis than rage, which means that when he berserks, he is. At least in my experience, 100% of the time, not going to attack your teammates. So he's going to attack the enemy. So in this case, if he berserks, he's just going to hit this guy a second Ready time. Pop in over. Hopping over. All right, move Godmother up, blue move, and then overwatch towards the, uh, yeah, that side, and then do the same for terminal the other direction. Ground or slightly top? Slightly up. Let's go slightly up. We're basically going to be in a position where we just have to be keep looking behind us Overwatch to protect our troops as they get out because the VIP is probably good to go at this point. There you go. Or do I go here? I'll take full cover and then Overwatch towards the port body Hmm. 
Me Interesting. Think, I think this might be the best call because if they go directly past the porta potty, I need to be able to hit them if they go out on the other side. True. We'll go left just for sake of argument a little bit. Okay. No, yeah. Do it so you can get that additional square past the civvy and also the porta potty. You see what I'm talking about? Like this? Yeah, because sometimes, I, in my experience, sometimes guys appear like one I'll or two. I'll anything that moves. Um, Gives us options. And oh, the man. game didn't crap. Prepping to play. Damn. I'm moving. Exactly what I was trying to avoid. He just diagonal that. Yeah. Darn it. No ammo. Oh, man. I'm out. Okay. Uh, I would... Let's see. Cherub, Cherub still has his shield on? Yeah. Yeah. I would... Charge re... bash? <laughs> oh, well, actually, me. see if he gets out next turn. So... Blue move and shoot? I have or blue, blue move and shoot. Or blue move and reload, because I didn't reload. Well, I mean... Gold moves in, I guess. If I also have to reload, I can't do any damage to him before he strikes. Yeah, I was about to say, let's, let's gold move it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Shit. I never catch it fast enough. Back down. About to take a shot. Oh, no. Can you get him out? Get him out. There you go. That removes that opportunity. Cool. Objective complete. Watch it with that. Uh, okay, let me see here. Psych up and shoot. Axiom is the furthest forward, so I would probably just overwatch. Psych up and overwatch. Wired up. Get out of this turn. How close is he? Who? Axiom. Undo that. Okay. How far can he run? He, yeah, can, get he can get out. So just yeah. So just Overwatch and wait. No, hold on. Everybody else's turn is next. So can anybody? Yeah. Godmother can't get out. So yeah. Overwatch from where you are. We can get Axiom out whenever Godmother has gotten out or is about to get out. Wait. 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 More left. Oh wait. There's a guy there. Can you just move uh, Axiom left and get a flank on him? That's like a, a shot? That's a civvy. No, the dude with the five at the very top of the screen with a shield. Oh, uh... I can go, like, there and get a flank? That'll get you a flank? Yeah. Oh, yeah, get a flank, then. Do that. Out of the way! You need an escort? I'm running low. Okay, Godmother has a shot left. So I would move her as blue move up towards the exit as you can, and then overwatch towards the same side again with her last shot. So, like, maybe the back of the crates? Here? Let's call the exit north, so north side of the crates. Oh, so here. Yes. And then overwatch towards Listen. that side. Well, you can't get any of that, so I guess just focus left. And then if the guy doesn't immediately take cover, you'll shoot him. If there is a guy. I think that's fine. Alright. Let's see. Terminal should be able to move up to... What? What is that? Is that a... Toll thing? For a parking space? Go to the back side of that and shoot the guy. That's what I would say. This does not cover. Yeah, it is. Not it's... cover. Oh, you meant here. Yeah. Other side. Blue move, and then shoot the guy because you'll be flanking him. Alright. Do you think not? Basically, it's not all three. Yeah, it's fine. You roll the three and kill them anyway. Weird. That mathematically Lag. doesn't work out. The the game is. What? The game is 
frozen. The game is crashed. Uh, so that's what happens. That doesn't happen to me. The game just soft locks when stuff like that happens to me. Well, so stream is still going. Um, My laptop is like on fire right now. Jesus. You have it set to show game, right? So they're just yeah. seeing whiteness. All right, Twitch stream. How you doing? How you doing, Twitch? You doing okay? Are you waiting for program to respond one more time? Yeah. Or are you gonna close program? Uh, fourth time's the charm. Okay, so in my defense. Okay, I think it's gotta get that, closed. That is the first time that the game is. Oh wait, no, I take that back. That was reinforcements. The very next thing that happened after you took that shot was reinforcements. So the game crashed on reinforcements. There it is, Daniel. <laughs> It's exactly what I'm talking about. <sighs> okay, so I guess I gotta close the program then. Yeah. On my side of things, when that happens, it All just right. hangs the entire computer and I can't alt-tab or anything. Like, I can move the mouse around. So, luckily, it didn't crash your OBS. You're still streaming. Or you're still recording, I should say. And you're still streaming. Yeah, it did. Uh, I dropped a bunch of frames about two minutes ago. Well, I mean, you should be good. Reopen the program. Like, oh, wait, or... Or you can go to Steam and verify files really quick, which it should find 53 files and then fix them. You have to do this every time? Yeah, oh yeah. I've done this a bunch of times. Excuse me. Uh, yeah. Local files verify integrity of game files. There you go. So how are you doing, Twitch stream? You having a good time? You enjoying yourself? It's good that we have a standby screen, because otherwise yeah. this would be... <laughs> but see on my end what's what ends up happening is um i can't alt f4 the game i can't get to the task manager every time i try and open up a different program like i can use the alt tab but clicking on an application doesn't open it doesn't bring it to focus oh geez so what i have to do on my end is i hit the power button on the back of the computer it begins the shutdown process which unfortunately immediately kills obs then it kills XCOM, and then I can hit cancel, and the game and the computer doesn't shut off, but it killed all the stream and and screws up the end of the recording, which I have to fix later manually, and then I can verify game files, which I don't know if that does anything because I have done it and not done it, and it st still seems to be a problem or not, um, but I do it anyway, um, and then I reopen the game, I restart the stream and everything, and then I have to concatenate it later when I'm doing the editing for YouTube. And at that point, I have to do this funny thing where so Blender won't take in the video file of um, that came from the crash of the stream. Like, it still exists, right? I still have a file of a recording. But since it wasn't properly closed because it killed OBS without warning, um, the file isn't closed properly, so I open it up in Handbrake. I basically transcode the video file into the same version of video that it is at the same resolution and frame rate and everything. And then Handbrake makes a closed file, and then I can use that in Blender. So it's a whole thing that I have to go through as a result of it crashing on reinforcements every time. Like, there are bugs that we've had, not being able to cast shield on some VIPs. Um, I've occasionally had moves that, like, I can't tongue pull somebody who's obviously invisible with torque, stuff like that. But as far as crashing the game, only reinforcements, and I swear to you, it's 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 a one in four chance every time there's reinforcements. Like it's a good twenty five percent chance every time. Wow, this is this is taking a while to verify on yours. Yep. I assume because you're trying to throw the stream up and I don't know maybe so um well I'm sorry that this happened Daniel but on the on the other level uh there you go that's what I've been talking about whenever I talk about the one like fatal bug with this game is that right there that you just had uh, um on two different missions I've had it so that the reinforcements never show up Maybe three missions, but on two of the missions that it happened, you have to defeat all of the reinforcements to be able to finish the mission, and so I couldn't finish the encounter, and I had to restart the encounter both times. You couldn't just reload your last, like, autosave? 
No, because it the last autosave includes the pop of the oh though actually now that you've asked that aloud like that I guess I could have gone back a second a second round, but the point is the last autosave includes the reinforcements we're supposed to show up. Oh okay, so like two or three autosaves back might have fixed it hypothetically speaking. Yeah, damn it, Daniel, that's such a good point. The last time it happened to me, I was at the end of that nine hour stream. So I probably wasn't wherewithal enough to think about. It. But yeah, you're right. I should just reload one more round back further than that. Oops. That's a good call. That's a good call, Daniel. Holy crap. Is your valid... How long has it been sitting at 32%? I don't it's not moving. No. You think this also broke? <laughs> Maybe. Hit, uh... hit cancel and try it again, and then if it gets stuck, in, if it stops at the same place, don't bother. Wait, what the heck is Something's validating the background. background? What in the world? Do, do, do it again. Do it again. Should I hit pause here first? Maybe. Yeah, because it just seems. Wait, it to... says there's an update. Right, because all the files that didn't work out, it should be grabbing them now. So sh should I wait or should I continue? Wow, this is crazy. Um, hit pause on the thing and then hit verify game files separately. Okay. Okay. Well, let's watch it. Three, four, five, six, seven. I'm sorry, I don't think there was a six. 10, 12, 14, 16. 17, 19, 21, 23. This is great content, by the way. Thank you for watching. Um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying 31. this standby screen. Um, 31. Okay, got to 31. 31. 32. 32. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Now, everybody who's complaining about, I trusted you guys, and you didn't put out a good, like, uh, you put out a Bucky game, and this, that, and the other, I just feel like pointing out that this was not made by the people who made XCOM 1 and 2. This was, like, a couple of the, a couple of the actual core people, a different director, a different, like, team. I think this is actually a lot of the people who were working on the Long War mod, the official, like, long oh, there, it made it past 32% that time. About time. And, um... And uh, so you can safely assume that XCOM 3 is... I think XCOM 3 is probably 66% done by now. They were hiring people for it, like, a year or two ago. So... Though... It's chilling at 34... Damn, how much time do you have left, Daniel? Maybe we don't have time for another mission with yeah, this going to happen. I don't think I do. This would be a crappy place to end the stream, though. Yeah. We could try picking this up again either later or tomorrow. Man. And that's and that's kind of kind of what I was saying when I was doing my streams is that the biggest problem with this bug isn't that it happens, because whatever, I'm playing a game on computer. No offense to consoles, but, like, on computer, I expect games to crash. I just do. That's why I play games on console, excluding in the last two, three generations. We've started to import full game crashes into a console a lot more reliably, quote-unquote reliably. But I expect this to happen. But the problem is that it kills the momentum. Like... We weren't in the middle of, like, a super deep, difficult mission, but I had this happen on both of the takedown missions for the two groups I've gone against in my playthrough so far. That, yeah, like, the, the final mission against that group, long, strenuous missions, and then, like, 45, 50 minutes in, you have this happen, go outside, pop the game, do all the stuff, verify the files, what have you, and then you drop back in, and you have to go, okay... Where was everybody? What was I doing? And, okay, 40%. I mean, it's progressing. It's just really slow. Uh, I will at least try to wait this out before I have to go, but I don't think I have time to reboot up the game. 
You think it's a little bit too personal to answer the question of how fast is your CPU, Daniel? Uh, no, it's not too personal of a question. What the, the f no, you're good. Give me a second. Let me pull it up. Uh, where? Because my computer is my computer verifies these files like just the verifying in the files part probably takes like less than two minutes. Oh, okay. Uh, i7 2.2 gigahertz. I'm gonna guess quad core. No, uh, hex core. It's got six. Oh, hex core. Huh. Uh, yes. Yeah, so and you are running. To... Luckily, you are running 64-bit Windows, so there is that. Yeah. Um. I mean, yeah. Like this is a this is an OEM computer. Like they definitely would have shipped it with 64-bit. Man, look, but, I'm uh... confused that Windows even lets you install 32-bit versions still. Yeah. Like that's fair. Um, Mac yeah, hasn't so even had a 32-bit version yeah, in, like, it's, it's uh, 2.2 gig base. I think it turbos at, like, 3.5, and it's regularly hitting above 3. So, I mean, it's getting there, and it's getting real hot. Like, my laptop chassis is, like, half metal, half plastic, and let me tell you, the metal part is steamy. <laughs> yeah, I I have a 3.6 gigahertz octa-core i9. So, yeah. Damn, dude. That's nuts. <laughs> So yeah, okay. Maybe maybe that verify files is how far along is it now that we're looked away from it for a second? Quality content though. Quality content. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Um it would be much worse if we weren't talking though. It was forty two percent. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I, I always wonder if this moment of like we should do something like have something prepared like just a video that I could play while we're waiting on the game to do something. You should just have a video ready for every time a game crashes. Well, I couldn't do it right because it soft crashes the entire stream. On this occasion, your stream is still going, which I don't get. Like that doesn't happen for me. Yeah, but I mean, so what are we gonna show? The, what are we gonna show the viewers? Like. Uh, you could go to YouTube and you could play my first episode if they haven't seen it yet. <laughs> How do I stream that? <laughs> Just go to YouTube and open up the play file. I know, but like that's not what they're seeing. What they're seeing is the standby screen right now. Oh yeah, you'd have to make a new scene. We'd have to have to be prepared so it actually takes your desktop or something like that. Yeah. We haven't done. That. Oh, oh, you could, you could have a file at the. Well, in in my case, if I was preparing for it, what you would do is. Um, I would have the video file sitting on the hard drive, which I do, and then I would uh, either tell it to capture a VLC, or I think you can actually play video as one of your scene things. That's how people do intros um, to their stream, like the countdown clocks and stuff like that, that automatically end at the end. Um, and you can just grab a... So, so everybody, while, while, while we're just talking, so Daniel, if you go over there to your stream things and hit the little plus symbol... Oh, and over in OBS? On the sources. One of these options, I believe, is... Uh, oh, you can get VLC source. Bam, that's one option. Or media source. Media source is another one. And so you could actually add a video file. Oh, true. Me. And then you can add a video file, and then it will just play the video file. And I don't know if it loops automatically or something All like right. that, but you could do that. How far along is this uh, verifying files thing? Uh... Oh, my Blender calculation is finished. Well, that's good. Is that so 53%? that would be... All right, so episode 25 uh, just finished... Wait, what is GOG Galaxy? I don't know games. Uh... It's good old games. It's a uh, it, good old game. This is 2.0 of their uh, launcher. Oh, I didn't know they had a specific launcher. They do. It's good. Do they have like free games like Steam and Epic do? No. Oh. Or they do when they do. It's not nearly as often. Like, like the one free game I have is Witcher Two. Okay. I think I have free version of the 360 oh, and of that. Symmetry and Tower of Gold. Time. I have three free games, and one of them is The Witcher 2. Shocker. It's from them. Symmetry and then Tower of Time. Oh, man. Well, 
or I could just make a standby screen that was that's like just two drawn pictures of you and me having a conversation that just says like Hunter Munn and Daniel talk time while the game is reloading or something. While the game's broken, <laughs> just, yeah. Yeah, just have that be a thing. What in the world? Well, I mean, the thing is moving. Oh, good grief. I haven't looked at any of my, um, I haven't looked at any of the achievements. I've decided I'm not looking at any of the achievements until I finish the game one time. I think I still have 40% of the achievements, though, so that's a good feeling. Nice. Um, so for anybody who might be watching this later, um, this is like, this is like an episode of Munsaga, so we're, we're having a conversation. I think Daniel and I are thinking about playing, uh, Total War Shogun 2 at some point. Um, that might be interesting to, like, co-stream. We could each stream the game from our own screens and record, and then I can snip the videos together at a later time, do picture in pictures and stuff for one video. Because man, the heavy lifting that this machine can do is so good, and I'm really, I'm really loving its power and stuff like that. I just did one of my favorite little inserts, which was well, okay. So in the episode that I'm, I should probably start. Oh, uploading. it says 53 files failed to validate and will be reacquired. Reacquired. Okay, so when you hit close, okay. you see downloading at the bottom of the screen there. So click on that, and you'll see that these files are about to get grabbed and update. There they go. All right. So, that is taking surprisingly PlayStation long on your connection. Zero of zero bytes. <laughs> what the heck? Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh, we could we could each stream the game from our own system, and then take we can take the video files that we're recording, and I can do it later. Oh, what I was saying. Okay, so I just did episode twenty five, and episode twenty five. There's a moment where I'm like. Is that a dead civilian? Was that civilian dead before? And then, unlike when it happened, and I couldn't, I didn't remember seeing anything happen, I scrubbed the video to literally 45 seconds before, and Torque's poison killed that civilian. Uh, spoilers if you're not to episode 25 yet. And Torque's poison killed that civilian, so I went and in the editing, I did a little picture in picture that that puts a little gold box in provision gold around it and says 45 seconds earlier and just shows a cropped uh, video of the civilian as he gets hit with poison and dies <laughs> in case nobody else saw that. So that's a thing. And then in the episode, um, I'm, I'm totally hung up on the fact that you were like, why don't you just reload like one more earlier before the reinforcements. I feel like such a dork. I redid two full encounters in my playtime thus far. Maybe three. Because the last load was goofed up on the reinforcements, and I probably could have just reloaded the one before that. Uh, okay. Anyway. Um, oh yeah, one of the missions I just did was um, Axiom at one point got a scar. How's the game doing? Has it got the files yet? Great question. It shouldn't take that long. But it is. What in the world? Um, in any event, uh, Axiom... Got oh, downloading this is going to take over an hour? What? And validating? It says downloading and validating. Is your Wi-Fi goofed up? No, it's not Wi-Fi. It's disk usage, which doesn't make any sense because I have two SSDs in this thing. It must just be that it's literally so hot that I can't function properly. So it's like cooking the system? Uh, I mean, it might be. I mean, my it's, it's a metal chassis. It's hot. Well, you've got an hourglass on your mouse and everything. Yep. Oh, you did. Uh, let's go back to testing. So, um, so Axiom, Axiom got a scar, which lowered his willpower. And I was like, I don't know what happens if, you know, somebody mind controls Axiom and he's like gone berserk or something like that. And then lo and behold, later in the episode, a mind control dude mind controls him. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. That's amazing. I totally called that. In fact, I'm going to put a pause here in case I remember that I'm going to insert the video of me saying, hey, this is a thing that could happen. And then because I, because I caught it this time, because I need to make better notes to myself when these episodes are happening. So because I, 
I scrubbed through and I, I caught myself saying that and referencing the thing earlier. I went back to the beginning of the episode. I snipped out that video. I went to the end of the episode. Sounds like the system crashing from trying, trying to lower the heat. All right, let's see. That's what Soja is saying. Sounds like the system is crashing from trying to lower the heat. That's totally believable. Oh, oh, well, the bar is moving. Thank you for uh, thank you for hanging out with us, uh, Soja. I um, I'm surprised a little bit. I probably would have gotten tired of this by now. <laughs> Oh man, that is beautifully readable on the screen though. That is nice text. Okay, your font is, I have my font smaller, like just because that's what I prefer because, but <laughs> in any event. Um, so I went back and I sniffed the beginning of that episode stuff and I put it in at the end, uh, right at that moment when I was like, and if I have the file, I'll put, like, I'll put it right here whenever I said this and then I do. So yeah, man, you're, um. Oh, is your CPU not always recording? What is that doing? Why does it just start at some point? It starts when you pull it up. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so uh, you yeah, have it up before. On, on you, Mac, you it's just look. always going. Yeah, no. Let's see here. Oh, good grief. Well, we got to fill the time, though, Daniel. So what else are we talking about here? I don't know. Oh, um, oh, oh uh, probably just just says, yeah, slowing down the CPU and such, so lowering the heat, it's okay. I'm just having the audio while I do other things. I mean, that makes the most that's, sense. I, I, yeah. I, I do my Let's Plays while other right. things are happening. Well, we appreciate you listening, Soja. Um, in the meantime, like, honestly, I don't, I don't know what else we can do. Like, it's going to take forever to validate, and... Uh, well, this is one of those learning experiences. So we just know that we need something to play in the background, like pull up like some, like even if all you did right now was find a way to play up like um, some Game Grumps animated or some Markiplier or something like that, you know? Yeah. I think we should I was just thinking, call it. Do you think we should call it? I think we should call we it. We're almost done with that episode. We should at least finish the mission. I don't even oh, think it's done. For that. I think it's done. It's done. It, it, it got through the blockage. It was only 250.4 kilobytes. That's how much it's supposed to be for those same 53 files every single time. And it took that long to do. So, but of course, it says a different total next to your download than it says up there. Yeah. But whatever. Point That's being, funny. it is done. Let's just go finish the mission, and then you can, like, go to your family or lunch or whatever it is. No, I actually, just... no I, I'm much a little early, actually. I, saw, I told Vince and I would be on uh, Division 2 at, like, 3, so... Try to get we can. This. We'll be done in ten minutes. We're not That's gonna fine. be done in ten minutes, but let's go ahead and do this. Oh, you're doing a very easy VIP. Well, not very easy actually. The game doesn't have very easy, but you have an easy VIP. Oh wait, is this game gonna be super loud for you like it is for me when you launch it the first time? Hopefully not. So it just says, ah, oh, technology always just waiting for you to give up hope. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, ain't that the truth. All right. <laughs> All right. Is it booting up? Okay. As soon as I hit play on the launcher, I need to go use the restroom, so I'll be right back. But let's try to get this done. Okay. Well, at least switch it over to the game so people can see it, I guess, if you're loading up the map. So they can remember where we were. And they remember not to mute me. Otherwise, like, no one will hear me when I'm trying to, like, keep the audience yeah. entertained. All right. I'll be right back. All right. Hey, one viewer and possibly people listening later on the VOD, I hope you've had a good time. What was that? Was that? No, hold on. I thank Captain Soja for his uh, feedback concerning my own episodes. And yeah, you know, I don't, I, I try not to get too negative, but sometimes it's just like you gotta prep the audience. Oh no, reinforcements are coming. That might take down the whole game. And now you've, quote unquote gotten to see it for yourself even though we got the standby screen up is like yeah there you go reinforcements are coming and it popped and everything i just said might also happen but luckily okay so luckily if it goofs off now 
and the reinforcements don't actually show up like they're supposed to, it shouldn't affect this mission because this mission doesn't require you to defeat the reinforcements to leave, which is what we were doing when we got cut off a while ago. So when we got cut off a while ago, uh, we were trying to get the VIP out, which I think we did, and then we're trying to get everybody else out. And that doesn't require you to beat the reinforcements. But sometimes when you're going on a mission and you're trying to like secure an object, the game will basically say there are three w waves of dudes coming and you have to hold your ground for three waves. And obviously if those waves never show up, you can't beat them. Um, and the same kind of thing happens with uh, some of my takedown missions where in order there are, there are reinforcements that have to show up at a certain point because of either an NPC does something, you press a button in the game universe or something else happens. And then as a result of that, since those reinforcements you have to defeat never show up, you can't defeat them. Um, so we'll see how this goes. But, I mean, this mission should be fine. So, Because we, all we have to do is get to the exit and leave. I think I hear Daniel coming back, so he should be unmuting in a second. Always clears that throat in my ear, though. <laughs> All right, I was just explaining to them what. Whoa, 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 whoa. Not completely restarting. Um, what? Okay, so what should happen here, Daniel, is because we we're loading into this mission, even if the reinforcements hiccup, which I was just telling everybody, even if the reinforcements hiccup and they don't show up, that won't matter for this mission because it's not vital to the mission that we defeat the reinforcements. What if it hangs on a turn where it was their turn and it never, like, they never well, come? That's the thing. I haven't had that happen. What will happen okay. is sometimes it will go to the reinforcements turn and the reinforcements won't show up. But that's only detrimental to the mission if the mission requires you to defeat the reinforcements, the ones that never it. show okay. up. Fair enough. This mission only requires us to get the VIP out and us out. And I think we got the VIP out, right? Yeah, VIP is out. So we just have to get to the exit. So reinforcements are imminent. All right. Um, oh, good, good. I got time. Vincent said he's going to Oh, this is right before shooting this guy like we did the last time. So reinforcements are not yet on the table. Let's shoot this guy, which is what we did before. Hopefully hit him. And hopefully not crash. In. If the entire game world crashes on reinforcements like it just did. Like it's about to right now? No, like it just did. I'm, I'm, it's frozen to me. Yeah, it's frozen to me, you, too. You got an hourglass and everything. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, All I'm right, calling it. So, um, I'm calling it. It's Daniel over. is calling it. He is the commander in charge. Uh, we will figure this out um, for the next stream. Okay. Mon, do you have time fact, possibly we, later we to may troubleshoot just... this? Say what? Do you have time later to possibly troubleshoot this off stream? Yeah, yeah. Troubleshooting, okay. this, uh, troubleshooting this should be reloading the turn before this one, seeing if it does the same thing, and then unfortunately restarting the entire encounter if that doesn't work. Okay. Because we won't know where the variable was that ticked in the background that caused it to pop like that. Is this like what XCOM 2 was like when it came out? No? I hope not. Jeez. No, all the other XCOMs were pretty solid. They have lots of the same problems that you will see on... Like, what you're seeing on the console version playing XCOM 2... Oh, switch over to the standby screen. Right. Uh, what you're seeing on the uh, console version of uh, XCOM 2 right now is more or less the types of things you have. Sometimes an object be floating in space, sometimes thing doesn't make as a uh, as a uh, as defensive cover like it's supposed to. Okay. Sometimes there's a tree. Sometimes there'll be a character space, model that says real. they're one place but they're actually somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Stuff like that. That's the type of stuff that that is core to XCOM and that on the PC version, generally speaking, will get patched over time and what have you. Like for example even though the console version did get patched so that the the eight minute load times for reloading a map or loading a map in general has been reduced to whatever it is now it's like a minute right. a minute or something like that <sighs> um, okay so that's the type of stuff that's normal but not like game crashes consistently at this point like this is such a consistent crash that my belief of that the only reason it isn't fixed now is that it must be in a troubling spot in the code even though they know what's causing it because All right. I'm not the only person having this problem. Clearly, you just had it, but like, have you seen Christopher Odd have it? It's an issue. Um, 
No, but he he was. Oh wait, no. Actually, I saw him have it one time, and he was like, "Oh, I've heard that other people said that this happened." No, no, no. That's right. Wait, it happened to him in a video. He said, "I've heard that other people said they have had this." And on that video, I commented on his video. I was like, "Oh yeah, dude, I had this happen at one of the missions you did earlier in the chain, like that didn't pop for you." And then I said what I've been saying the whole time, which is it's basically a one in four chance roll every time. All right. Maybe I did reload that one mission to the previous load, and it didn't work like it just did, and that's why I always reload the encounter. But in any event, so you've called it. This is popping now. Um, hopefully people have enjoyed our conversation at this point, and we will <laughs> attempt to do better later. Uh, be, 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 do better later. Uh, you want to sign out? Yes. Um, once again, this is Improvision Entertainment. Thank you for watching. I've been Daniel. And I have been Hunter Mine. And we will see you in the future. And, uh, you know, shout-outs to Todd and Carl. Shout-out to Todd and Carl.